Once again, Max Lucado's book right here, Safe in the Shepherd's Arms. This could be part two here. We left off with the introduction. Now we're going to do, start at, you know, basically chapter one right here, where it says, The Lord is my shepherd. So here we go. Today is, before I start out, say it right now, today is August the 11th, 2014. The Lord is my shepherd. The psalmist rejoiced to say, The Lord is my shepherd. And in doing so, he proudly implied, He is my sheep. Why did David write the 23rd Psalm to build our trust in God? Remind us of who he is. God is Yahweh, an unchanging God, an uncaused God, and an ungoverned God. When Lloyd Douglas, the author of The Robe and other novels, attended college, he lived in a boarding house. A retired wheelchair-bound musician, a professor, resides on the first floor each morning when Douglas would stick his head in the door of the teacher's apartment and ask the same question. Well, what is the good news? The old man would pick up his tuning fork and tap it on the side of the wheelchair and say, that that's the middle C. It was the middle C. Yesterday, it was the middle C. Tomorrow, and it will be the middle C a thousand years from now. The tenor upstairs sings flats. <clears throat> I have my music right here. The piano across the hall is out of tune, but my friend, that is the middle C. You and I need a middle C. Haven't you had enough change in your life? Relationships change, health changes, the weather changes. But Yahweh, who rules the world, which is Jesus Almighty One, Where am I at here? Lost my place. But Yahweh, who rules the earth last night, is the same. Yahweh, who rules the world, is the same today. The same convictions, the same plan, the same mood, the same love. He never changes. You can no more alter God than a pebble can alter a rhythm of the Pacific. Yahweh is our middle sea, a still point in a turning world. Don't we need a still point? Don't we need an unchanging shepherd? We equally need an uncaused shepherd. No. One breathing life into Yahweh. No one to sire him. No one to give birth to him. No one caused him to act him forth. Though he creates God, was never created. Though he makes, he was never made. Through he causes, he was never causes. Hence, the psalmist's proclamation, before the mountains were born, or you to brought forth on the earth and the world, from everlasting, everlasting you are God. Psalms 92. You know, when I was reading that last part, right, 14, it says, let's go back where it says, through he creates God, was never created. That's what it says right here. But despite what this book says, which is a Christian book, by the way, Jesus is a true author. Jesus can answer all your problems, all your questions. So just to let you know on that video, we'll leave off on page, let's see. Page 15. We'll be back for another edition later on. Take care and God bless.